Welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? So, we're back with another review video for you. And yeah, you know what? We might look a little hot and tired. That's because we were just outside washing one of his vehicles, testing out this beauty right here. The SPTA car dryer. So Mark, tell me, what do you think? Oh, well, right out of the gate, we were talking about the hose. Um, once you turn it on, this thing expands to, I don't know how many feet. Do you remember? It was I like, don't. It, it's pretty much the whole length like, of a driveway. Yeah, it seemed about like 40 feet long, this thing we game. Don't quote us on that one. Maybe he'll hit you with the specs uh, later on, put them up on the screen. But uh, the hose is awesome. I think it's a uh, metal reinforced, but you can see this little section, how much that expands. So one inch to about three, three inches. So the hose is very nice. Um, I'm very impressed with that. And I do like the uh, tip is rubber. So if you do hit the car, you're not gonna scratch it. You yeah. might scuff it or something, but it comes off super off. easy and it just, it's rubber. I mean, this is like a really nice feature that they added in. I do like that. And plus the handle has foam on it too as well. So when this thing starts getting warm, you can hold onto the hose, but it's not crazy hot, but it's a little uncomfortable. If you're holding the foam, no problem. But I like to use both hands to keep this off of the car so it doesn't rub against the car. And then the other hand is on the phone. So looking at the labeling back here, the power is 3000 watts or four horsepower. And I'll roll in some video of us using it as a leaf blower. And this packs a punch. I mean, it's got some good solid pressure behind it. Yeah, it's pretty impressive for what it is and what's blowing through this hose. I'm, I'm actually somewhat impressed with that for a leaf blower. So, yeah. so if you want the TLDR, we think this is really, really good. And we think it's a quality unit. Um, let's get into a few nitty gritty parts of it. But before, besides it being a very good unit right out of the gate, you know, we're gonna have to test it for quite a long time. This is just our preliminary uh, thoughts. So we tested it a couple times and we like it so far. It comes with a filter back here, if you can go ahead washable filter. So you've got nice filtered air going through the unit, blowing out. So no worries about little particulates getting into and scratching your paint as you're trying to dry it. Like in my driveway too, we have a lot of uh, mango leaves, we got like four mango trees on the property. So uh, I always have an issue with my squirrel cage fan there in the garage, sucking those up and blocking it. So Definitely don't want anything like that breaking off and then running through your hose. So that's a good, that's a good look, I think. What I find that this is going to be good for is for people that want to dry their car in a hurry. Right. Do you say it? Right. Yeah, for sure. We'll roll in, I'll roll in some more video of Mark going and drying the entire side of the vehicle. And I think we got that pretty much done in about three, just over three minutes. Right. I think drying with a towel will be faster. Uh, just one one pass with the towel is faster, but you're still going to have it. Uh, the little residue that's little, left over, exactly. the little this, streaks, the little you know, the little micro droplets. Yeah, this is gone. So everything is gone with this. So this is for me. If you have are in the shade or inside a garage or something like that, this is would be a really really good option. So because you're not touching anything, right? Yeah. So you're not it's adding any, any more contaminants to the paint scratching, nothing like that. So if you're getting ready to buff or something, this would be clutch. If you're going to ceramic coat a vehicle, so if you're a professional that ceramic coats, and we all know that those little nooks and crannies in the mirrors, in the mm. uh, trim, right, right. the emblems, that always holds some kind of water. And you can sit there and you're drying and you're drying and you're waiting, that's adding time. Now you add a tool like this into your arsenal, and you're blowing that water out super fast and it's got nice hot air behind it. So it's drying it. So you'll be able to get to actually doing the coating yeah. faster than if you were. Yeah, I didn't think about that. And then, you know, every single time, if you don't do that, you go over, you put the coating on and the coating's not supposed to get wet for what, 24 hours sometimes. Yeah. And what do you get? The drip from the mirrors when you close the door or yep. something like that. So you got to go back and wipe it. So oh, that yeah. is, that's a good, 
It's a good point to put yeah. out there. I mean, it's even one of those when you're using like a spray coating. So like we love the Griot's 301 ceramic. Yes. yes. And that you've got, you know, you can do two, normally it's two coats, right? Two and coats, with yeah. like 12 hours in between. I believe it's 12. You don't want the car to get wet. So you wash it, you use this to get all those little nooks and crannies. You put your first application. If for some reason you had to drive and go somewhere before you got the second one on, right? you don't want to hit a bump and then you start getting all the water coming out of all the cracks. True, true story. So this I can see being really beneficial when you're doing things like that. Now, price-wise, we're looking at about a 200 and something dollar tool here. So for a professional, I think it's yeah, highly it worth it. For the do-it-yourselfer, if you're into it, me personally, I would put the money. In. Oh, we know you. I uh, you I go, would put the money. In. You buy like even if you were to use this twice a year, it's money well spent for you. Yes, it is because it is taking <laughs> up. It's it's cutting time on doing something else right. that I don't want to do. Right. On wheels, this is spectacular. Yeah, this killed it on the wheels. Oh, for you sure. can see. You're gonna see the. I'm gonna roll that footage in too, where. Right. You can see the rubber drying as it. I can tell you that's the one part that I hate after I'm done with my vehicles is the last thing I do is tire shine. It's the time. Yeah. It's the time you got to sit there and wait and for it to dry. There and I'm grabbing a towel with, you know, so I'm there juggling my towel, my microfiber, my applicator, right. and my tire shine, and I'm drying off the wheel applicating and then the, the tire and the rag is garbage afterwards right? yeah microfiber rag is garbage so yeah, that is honestly if you guys are professional this i would definitely recommend it just for so that. many uses because if you're if you don't even touch the car and you're just going to do wheels and tires you'll see how fast this does tires because it's heated it dries it like that that is a good point um i almost forgot about it but that was it gets in the lug nuts and everything so it blows off and dries the tires i mean so you don't have to wait the extra 10, 15 minutes after you're done with the car. Even using, because I used to like, I used to use the blower all the time. I have an Ego blower or I have a, uh, uh, I don't know, it's a Milwaukee, I can't remember. But I have another blower, a handheld blower, and neither of them do what this will do because of the heat. Well, segue into that with the pressure that's coming out of here. So at four horsepower, it's saying 3,000 watts back here, four horsepower. This has some pressure. This has some oomph oh, behind that. Oh, oh. So honestly, I stage myself. <laughs> honestly, oh, oh, oh. I would even attempt to use this on the interior to blow off carpets and get the okay. dust from okay. the nooks and crannies inside. Would you, you would do it in the car and not take stuff out? No, I, I would do both. Take out the, right. the, the carpet, the mats, blow them off. You know those little nooks and crannies in between the side yeah, of the console? If you, you could even do the dashboard and stuff if you stayed far enough away because of the heat. So we, we registered it at one point at like 104 degrees, which is like this car baking in the sun, right? So it's about the same temperature. It could be a lot hotter. Yeah, but, um, if, but it, if you were to stay, if you were to stay a good foot and a half away and keep it moving around, you could probably do. The or even if the it's the first one of the first things you do, like comes down to your like your order is. Some people like doing interiors first. Some people like doing exteriors first. Right. So if you were doing an interior first and this was just sitting there off. The air that's coming out of it from the start cooler is a lot cooler. And so, sorry to interrupt, you can dial it back too. So if you dial it back, then you'll be good to go. Like with doing the uh, the pressure, so you're not blowing yeah. it all over the car, making it all dusty. So you know, I would definitely like at the start, definitely go in, blow some stuff off, and you're good to go. Um, well, 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 we're touching on the subject of the sweep of the little dial here weatherproof switch here we think this is awesome with this little rubber case around that's yeah, on because you you will be what are we doing we're washing cars if you yeah. cars you're going to get mud dirt everything slung around so it's good that this will be standing by like a car we just did this was literally standing four feet away so we didn't worry about it getting in electronics or anything so it's got some awesome little casters on here that lock so if you've got this in the driveway and if for some strange reason this giant hose wasn't isn't, enough. It isn't enough, if you just give it a little tug, it moves pretty easily. Right, right. So I would keep it locked because, again, 
we're not going 40 feet. I so, mean, but me personally, I would probably hang it in my garage. I'd probably hang it from the casters itself right. or this plastic base, hang it up on a wall, you know, and use it directly from there because of how long this hose is. Right. Yeah, that's one of the most impressive things, honestly, is the hose, the quality of the hose, um, and how much it shrinks up once it's off. Mm -hmm. so that's one of the best things I think about it. I have to say, in the, what, about a month or so that we've had this? Yeah, it's about three, it's been, three and a half, almost a month. Yeah, yeah it's been almost a month. You know, our preliminary usage of it, um, our now, like, you know, long-term testing of it, I'm actually really happy with the build quality of it and just all the uses that you can find from it and not just to drive the car. Right. And I'm gonna like tell you too about the, uh, the cord. They give you a decent length cord. I would plug this directly in. I wouldn't use an extension cord unless you have like a real big one. Um, because I think you it really like construction quality. Right, right, right. The one that's like double contract, this. Yeah, like contractor style uh, extension because this, this is get warm. Like 3,000 watts. This is pulling some juice. Yeah, we used this on an extension cord at one point, and the extension cord plugged into was getting warm. So, just, you know, it's just something to know. And it doesn't have an extra ground, which I kind of find weird, but that is what it is. So, tell me, you got to play with it the most today. I would have to ask me if I buy one. Uh, we know, you know, uh, you know, I'm cheap. Yeah. Why are you going to say that? <laughs> no, honestly, if, if, well, if I didn't, if I didn't, we'll, we'll hold back on the, will you buy one? Okay. But just your thoughts of using it, manipulating the hose, being able to no, get into the, I'm, I'm happy with how everything's built. The build quality seems good. I'm going to show you a video um, of him doing his thing. All right. Build quality is good. Again, we like this. We like the caster. So everything. The performance is good. It blows uh, quite a bit of air. It, to me, it's hot enough um, wow. to where it's not going to damage the paint, right? Yes. Um, it's hot enough to dry, dry the water, water right? and push, and it has enough power to push the water. You'll see this and, you know, I'll roll in some extra footage of this where you're going to see it pushing and rolling the water off and you'll see it drying. And so it's got enough heat to do that, right. but it's not enough heat that you're going to burn yourself or damage paint. Right, and we do need to do a separate video later on a car that hasn't been treated. So we see the water that would normally sheet off, mm -hmm. be pushed off like that, because this car had the Griot's Garage 3 and one on it. On so it just, it just slides off pretty easily. On a ceramic coated vehicle, yeah, if you want to wash and dry your car real fast, poof, this will blow that water right off of there. I agree. I agree. Yeah. So like I said, honestly, would I buy one if I wasn't working out in the you know what I probably still would not because I'm always out in the heat. So in South Florida this stuff dries fast. Yeah. Um the wheels dry faster. Um in the later months it gets harder to dry it. So honestly I think I would. If if I had a detailer, if I was like a detailer went around with a van, for sure, for sure I would have one of these. Um for my garage, I don't need one. But I would probably buy one, to be honest with you, just because of the heat. If it didn't have the heat, I wish you. I wish they made it to where you could turn the heat off and on. That would be clutch to do the inside of the car. That actually would be a great. Hey, SBTA, for the next one, maybe we'll add a two two knobs, two knobs, one for the heat, one for temperature, and one for air pressure. That's actually a really good idea, right? So you know, because we got that second usage in the interior. Right. As much air as this is pushing out, right, for sure. Yeah. I agree with that. So yeah, I would I would probably buy one of these to be honest with you. Um, the main thing I would use it for would be the tires and the wheels. Um, going around the car, they save you time. Right. So going around the car, I like to use a towel because it's quick, and I want to get the hell out of the heat. So other than that, like if it was winter, I would use this all day, right, on the on the outside of the car, and it would be clutch. So what do you think? For you, would you spend the money on this? Once again, what, what is it, 220 or what is it? It's about, I think it's like 210 and I think they have, I got, uh, what you call it, it's on Amazon. I think they have like a $10 coupon. I don't know if it's still there or not. Okay. So, you know, the prices may vary. It also depends on when you're watching this video. If you're watching this video and let's see. 2047. <laughs> so. This doesn't exist anymore. It, it's August 26th of 2023. <laughs> if you watch this video within the next week, the price is probably going to be about that, about 200 or so. If you're watching this video a year or two from now, 
probably not going to be that price, or they're probably going to be a new model. Especially since they got the Dragonfly detailing bump. That's yeah. it. It's a wrap. Yeah. They're going to, units are going to move off so, the shelves. You know, I'm frugal, but there's some things that I will splurge on when I feel I can use them and they're going to make my job, easier. my workload easier and it's going to fit my process. This will easily fit my process. This will easily shave some time off of me drying vehicles, especially since, well, not right now, but most of my vehicles tend to be coated in some kind of ceramic or wax that when you blow on it, I mean, I my cars are usually so coated that it's raining and I'm driving fast and you can see the water just blowing off of it. So this, oh, just sit there and blow the water off and I'm done and then I don't have to worry about water Sort of spots. satisfying too, right? Yeah, it you is. You get to see your hard work pay off while you're driving the car. So, yeah, I mean, I don't like to spend the money, but on a quality piece of equipment, I will. And I think, you know, not everybody's going to have the money to spend it and I can understand, you know, but a professional, it's something I would really consider, right. you know. And it sounds like we're like gushing over this thing. We're just giving you the first uh, uh, I guess our first thoughts on it. After we use it, we might come back to you in about five, six months and tell you we hate this thing. I don't see it happening, but like I said, everything feels solid. So I think it's gonna be a good product. So check us out in a couple months and see if we have an update video. Maybe we'll do one regardless. What do you think? Like if oh no, we definitely, definitely five do. months from now. We'll I think like, we ah. should definitely do a one month update. Okay, that's too too soon for me. That's It'll do it for you. It'll do it one month. We'll have another one month update <laughs> on a coated vehicle so we can see this water fly off. Okay, and we'll do some periodic ones so that way we, you know we can let you know because it's not a cheap piece of equipment. Right. So you know we don't want to put our stamp on something and you guys run out and buy it. All three of you that are watching run out and buy it, and, and then, then you come back. It wasn't like you said like no, so. But as of right now, I'm super happy with it. I'm glad we have it. I think it's gonna cut down on some of my work. Yeah, I give, it, I give it a thumbs up. Yeah, I give it a thumbs up too. Well guys, thanks for watching this. Long-winded. Long, yeah, it's longer than normal, I think. Yeah. You know, video. And um, don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, so that way you can get the updates, all the videos. Um, we've got some more stuff coming down the pipeline. Um, I don't know if you noticed also some of our slightly different videos, that, you know, some hobbies that we have that right. we're kind of sliding in there. So, you know, let us know in the comments whether you like it or you don't. You know, you can give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. If you don't want to see it, hey, well, I'll put it, I'll put it's it on different. my per I'll put it on my personal and channel, Joey Bags at YouTube. You know, you can also go there. I've got some good sim racing action. And if you guys have stayed this this long, if you guys have made it this far in the video, I want to let you know, Joey's going to be giving out jelly beans. So if you <laughs> comment down below, I want jelly beans from Joey, he's going to send them to you. Right? No? Oh, dude, I'm going to... Oh. You're going to... Four people? I get, Yeah, well, you know, if it's only four people, that'll, that'll be fine. Bag of jelly beans from Joey Bags. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you guys. Peace out.